Hey guys, it's me, the American Samaritan. God bless America. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day wherever you are in this lovely world. Now, let's begin in three, two, one. Okay, let's try that again. Three, two, run. What's that? Look, I'm sorry it happened this way. As long as you get your army, right? Best guess. Get your armor patched up in here. Extra bed rolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. Long time since we had a piss bucket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. Nail! We got two more. So wise. Curse this bloody leg. Hey, it's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You got the best of Griff last time. When he comes looking for revenge. Do you think you can beat him? He'll be angry, looking for revenge. It sounds like you prefer if Roderick stayed down in the mud. No. Look at me, Roiland. I can barely hold this damn thing, much less swing it. So, you're gonna give up then? There are other ways to fight, my lord. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me. Huh? What? <laughs> Dang. Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Let's try it again. Almost. Again. This will be the time. Ha! Now that comes trying to do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Oh. My lord. Sorry to interrupt. Elena. She insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I hear we're to become sisters. Talia. Roderick. Can I speak with you? Privately. Oh, no. You remember my little brother? Quiver! Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. You're always welcome here. We are to be married. You'll be calling Iron Wrath home soon. Yes, well, um... That's why I came, actually. Huh? Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father you were disobeying Griff's authority and... And he wanted to teach you a lesson. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean? He demanded I end Albatrothal and marry his son, Griff, instead. What? Lud threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, would be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant, pig-eyed prick! Lena, we're in this together. I won't let this happen. I knew you'd help. But my father won't listen. I'm not gonna be the bone they throw that howling dog. 
I'm not going to be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind, and so have I. Talk like it's as simple as walking up to him and putting a knife in his heart. He's protected by a garrison of his own soldiers. We have a way around that. Here's our extra men. You brought your men. I command Father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours. If you'll help us take down Griff. Of course oh, I God. Will. Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. Ooh. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. White he'll still have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please, promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. I would be happy to. Thank you, Roderick. Griff won't even see it coming. My men are yours to command. Thank you, Quip. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? Ha ha! You don't know how much this means to me. My to love! Us, I should say. Maybe when this is all over... I knew it was a good idea to go back and... seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I love you, Helena. I love you too. Aww. <gasps> How romantic. Oh, you little rascal. Mira Forrester. Can't believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. <laughs> For all I of fancy one hour. Marry his brother too. Not to I mention put Cersei it past her. and Jamie. Shh. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. What is it, Tom? I remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick. About Whitehill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Lud Whitehill. Lud Whitehill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? I think I can convince her. I know things about her that she wouldn't want told. Time to apply a little pressure then. Well, it's nearly time. I didn't mean it. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you.
Hmm. Hey, what are you doing out here? There's leftover honey cake in the kitchens. Have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. That the one who killed Brit? He's not going anywhere. Come on. Oh, you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway. Hmm. What do we do now? Let's pick up. Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. Oh, I'm not getting out that way. Must be the latrine. I'm not sticking around to use it. Just sand. Hmm. Probably covered with fleas. Are you any better? What kind? Oh, wood's rotten. This is all bloody useless. No one out there. Don't know what I expected. This might help. I just might. It might be useful. Look at. Oh, this one looks loose. Garrett! Cotter, what are you doing here? I heard him talking. You're to be executed in the morning. I have to get out of here. And that's why I came. I want to help. Well, you'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. Well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. I owe you for this. If we make it out alive, I... Well, now that you mention it... What? I want to go with you, Garrett. To the North Grove. Of course. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black. But I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north... I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. It's rusted a bit inside. I can try, but it may not do any good. Can you see any other way out? There's a loose stone over here. Can you see it? Yeah. yeah. It's not moving, though. Keep trying. Let me see what I can do. Garrett, what are you doing? Getting out of here. It's coming loose. I'm gonna try to push it out. You pull, all right? I hope no one heard that. Hey, can you fit through? I think. Yeah, 
on the run. Okay, guys, so that's it for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that other fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.